Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I'm going to go over the configuration for the WinCare USB N1MM Logger Plus and RIDI FSK. Okay, over the weekend I was playing with this and I made a few contacts in the RIDI contest. So let me show you how I got it set up, and I'll put a link below to an excellent document by K1EL, and it goes through all of this. But I'll show you how I have it set up in N1MM Logger. I'm going to go to Config, Configure Ports, and on the first tab, the Hardware tab, COM4 is my ICOM 7610. And let's take a look at this window, COM4. These are the settings I have. And there's nothing in this one about the wind key. But the next one, COM8, that's my wind key USB. And it's running the latest firmware. So I have access to RIDI FSK. And I have CW other checked, and then let's take a look at this next window. COM8. Now I have wind key checked here. I didn't change anything else in this window, but you can have a look at it. I'll click cancel. The next tab that we can go to is the digital modes. And under digital interface 1 is wind key. I also have the path to MMTTY. I have FSK checked off. And then the next key next tab we need to go to is the win key tab. And I don't think I changed anything in here. I just checked off enable ready mode using win key. And it tells you you need the firmware version, what was that? 3.1 dot one one C or later and I am using key one on the back of the wind key or USB for ready and that cable goes from the wind keyer to the accessory port on the ICOM 7610 now I had to make that cable I bought some plugs off of eBay and I soldered the wires into the plugs that was a little difficult, but if you have the ICOM 7300, it's real easy because the plug that comes with the 7300 has wires coming out, out of it, and all you have to do is attach to those wires. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel here. I'll show you something else that's in the document, and I'm not quite sure if we still need to do this or not, but in this window, the digital interface one ready mode this window I'm gonna to go to setup and settings I have default ready interface is MMTTY but in the document they tell us to go to message setup and then down to win key now I've got my my macros in here already and you see them down here in this window all I did was go to import and under the function key messages I selected the CQ Worldwide Ready DX file and that added those in there. Let me go back. So we want to go to win key and in the document it tells you to go into these buttons here click on TX and put the open bracket hit save Rx, close bracket, hit save, the escape, backslash, hit save, and then we can save our settings. Now, I'm not sure if we still need to do this or not. I was using it without these, and it worked fine for me. And I'll show you how I was using it in the contest. Now, another thing you'll want to set up on your radio if you're using... The ICOM 7610 or the ICOM 7300 you'll want to go into menu set connectors USB send slash keying and you'll want to turn off USB keying ready if you have that on or set to something else if you are using it 
another another way like I was, you'll have to turn that off. USB keying, ready, turn that off. Because if you have it on, it's it's not going to send ready out of the accessory port on the back of the radio. And now let's just try it out. I can hit this button. I, I use these buttons over here or the keyboard. So if I want to send my call sign, I just tap the F6 button on my keyboard. And there you go. Send the exchange. I'll click that. I'm on a dummy load right now. And let's see, I, I, I'm not in that same log I was using. This is just a general DX log. And uh, my other log uh, was a little bit different. The exchange was a little bit different. The issue that I was having during the contest, when I sent my exchange, it was supposed to send 59904SD04SD. SD. And instead, it was sending 599PRSD04SD. And I don't know where that PR was coming from. I couldn't figure it out. So it's a, a minor glitch. It didn't seem to make any difference. Maybe if I was uh, decoding it on another radio, it, was, it would have been coming through as 04. So I don't know what the issue was there. The other thing that I noticed, every once in a while it would lock into transmit and when it did that I'd have to hit the transmit button on the front of the radio to put it back into receive. Now it could be something that I had set up wrong or could have been an issue with my cable, my computer, I'm not sure. But anyway it worked really well I was happy with it. So I'll uh, show you how I was making contacts and then you can decide for yourself whether you, this is something that you want to do. I'm going to be using it with CW, so in my next video I'll have the Winkier USB with CW, and that works great. Uh, here comes some contacts. I'll show you one that I made. Okay, you got me that time. All right, so I can go ahead and log in. That's the way it's been working, and it's working pretty good with the exception of those couple of items. I'll be using the Winkier USB for sure. I don't know if I'll keep it on this radio. The 7610, it works great with uh, just a, you know one or two cables. Uh, the USB cable for rig control, and you get two uh, virtual you get two virtual ports with it. Uh, so I use one for rig control, and then I use the other one for really keying and CW King, so uh, I mean it works perfectly. Um, I'm able to switch back and forth between modes without any problems. So I'm going to play around with this wing gear a little bit more and I'll have some more information on my website that's www.k0pir.us. I'll have an article up, I got one or one or two up right now on the wing gear, one on how to upgrade it and then uh, I think another one on there. So. Have a look at those articles, and uh, I'll be putting more or posting more on my website. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.